Even if you know that your application will only run on a single core, single CPU, it can still be useful to express parallelism in your programs. In fact, almost every time you load a web page, your browser is making something called an asynchronous request back to the server for more information that exploits a certain kind of parallelism. You see, a web server rarely sends all the information for a web page in response to your initial request. Instead, it sends a kind of outline for the page that includes other URLs where your browser can find the details. To get these details, your browser then sends other HTTP requests back to the server. For example, we might need a style sheet and also an image to help fill out the website. Now, if we were to implement this in a naive, synchronous way, our program might run for a while, but then when it discovers that it needs a CSS file from the server, it would make the HTTP request and then pause while it waited to get the response back. After receiving the response, it could then process the CSS file and then continue its work until it discovers that it needs uh, an image file. Make that request, wait till it receives it, and then process that image file. Clearly, this is inefficient. There is no sense in making the browser, and hence the user, wait for a response from the server while there is more work to be done in reading and rendering the original request. This is why requests back to the server are made asynchronously. And this is really just a fancy word meaning that we get to continue our program without having to wait for a web request or sometimes a system call to complete. So in the asynchronous approach, we would begin by processing the HTML file, just as we did in the naive approach. But when we find that we need to request a CSS page, we do so in a new thread. This allows our original thread to continue processing the HTML file and discover that he also needs to request a PNG file. Again, he will do this in a new thread. When he gets the CSS file back from the server, the requesting thread can process it. And when he gets back the PNG file, the requesting thread can also process that. And the end result is that we've finished loading the page much faster. Now remember, we're still assuming that we only have one CPU. This means that the computation that the naive approach did, say this red portion here, can't run in parallel with the other parts of the processing. They still have to take turns. Nevertheless, because we weren't idle while we waited for the web server, as we were in the naive approach, we've made our page load faster by always giving the CPU something to do. And it's the programming abstraction of threads that makes it possible to achieve both this behavior as well as the true parallel processing that we discussed earlier.